Uh, the kids have it. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, could, could one of you kids run over and grab the torch? It's right against the bush there. On the bushes? Yeah. Okay. And keep it straight up. What's her name again? Katie. 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 How could I keep forget? Keep it straight up. My daughter's name. <laughs> Can you join us over here? Sure. All the kids. Come okay. right in front of the truck here. And we're going to have lots of time here, by the way, to do one-on-ones afterwards. Because it's like, what, a 15-20 minute walk trek to the city hall. So we won't leave until like uh, close to 3 o'clock. And it's uh, straight down the street, no lefts or rights. Oh, okay. Pretty simple enough. And you got the lighter, right, David? Yeah, I do. in this uh, campaign and today is uh, actually day uh, 100 and I believe 45 and it's a two or sorry 732 day campaign and uh, we're on our way uh, hopefully in one piece uh, to Argentina uh, where we'll be arriving on October 24th 2011 so so far uh, we've covered over a hundred cities uh, and communities and uh, we've been getting a tremendous response and people are listening they're signing their donor cards uh, and they're becoming more aware of the importance of organ and tissue donation and it's through the students that this is being made possible through their enthusiasm their passion and we're hoping one day that we won't have to hear that sad statistic that every hour somebody is dying in America because an organ's not arriving. The students are going to change that. And today uh, we're carrying the torch and we'll continue carrying the torch for Jamila Beverly. She's a 14-year-old Pittsburgh student uh, that is in desperate need of three organs, uh, liver, pancreas, and bowel. And we met the uh, family about a couple of weeks ago. And as we usually do, because we hear a lot of uh, families that are contacting us about their loved ones on, on the waiting list, we heard from this particular family two weeks ago. And when uh, Jamila came out to carry that torch that day, she had a great big smile on her face, and not once did she lose that smile, despite the suffering that she's going through. And when we asked her, Jamila, we want to carry this torch for you, she said, don't carry it for me, carry it for the 25,000 other children that are presently waiting for organ transplants. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about students. And so we're going to continue carrying it for her. And today we have students from Dover High School and also Caesar Rodney Senior uh, School yes. that are going to carry the torch. They're representing your city proudly and the state of Delaware. And we also have Mrs. Uh, Ramitas. Ramitas, who's here. And uh, she was nice enough to donate accommodations for us while we're here at Dover at the Comfort Inn. And we've been here for three days now. And she's uh, given us another night. And before we're on our way to Baltimore, that's our next stop. So we want to thank you for helping out. Thank you. And also, thank God it's Friday that's been feeding us uh, since we've been here. Now, we're traveling with a dismal budget. We, we practically got no budget. And without the help and, and kindness of people like this, uh, we wouldn't be able to make it city by city. So I'm really hoping that you can acknowledge them, as well as the police uh, uh, Forrest Dover's finest, who's going to give us an excellent escort today. And Mayor Carey, uh, who's going to be meeting us at uh, 315 to receive the torch from these uh, wonderful students. Uh, now, we're going to light the torch right now, uh, but we got 15 minutes. I believe it's about a quarter to three right now. we got about 15 minutes to do one-on-ones uh, before we make our way. Students are prepared to say a few words to the media. Yes. And we are as well, 
And so right now we're going to light the uh, famous torch of life that was blessed by Pope John Paul II. Hold it up. Okay. Yep. And uh, we're going to light it right now. Look at the camera. That's it. Everybody look at the camera. There we go. That's it. Hey, everybody come around and hold it. That's it. Very good. That's it. Very nice. the other one, eh? It's a little shot. A little camera shot. <laughs> Can you hold the torch as well, officer? Absolutely. Where do you want me to stand? Uh, actually, behind Ryan. The members of the Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I know. Just, just don't drop. Yes, I'm uh, George's uh, uh, right-hand man, I suppose okay, you might nice. say. Yes, and I want to thank you for um, for helping us out here. This is this has been it's wonderful. It's a very nice uh, thing that you guys do. Well, thank you very much. You know? uh, we come by it honestly. Yeah. We're both transplant uh, recipients. Something else. White and black. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so many children there that yeah. they need this, you know. Yeah, it's it's like uh, right. That's right. Kind people like you that take the time to well, do it. Okay. Well, I'm retired, so I have time. So you have a time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not retired yet. <laughs> I'm really excited actually about it. I, I wasn't really aware of this whole situation until I didn't, days ago. I didn't realize how big of a deal it was and how big of a deal it is to sign your donor card and make sure you are. Do you think you'll encourage other students at your school at the Definitely, yeah, to sign their license and say they want to donate their organs. Definitely. These are short interviews. <laughs> yeah, I'm an organ donor, if that, if that matters to you. That's good. What compelled you to do kind of I mean, I'm not going to need them, so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but but it, it certainly does go to help. Yeah, definitely. I, I would like to help someone else, but I'm not, not using them. Okay. Well said. Uh, say it's your name. Are you it's my daughter's name. I love it. <laughs> and what year? Um, I'm a senior, so if you have to. Easy enough? Yeah. Got it? Short and simple. Now we want to try to roll you guys to together with your. I'm not going to need him. Hey, it was an honest. Uh, yeah. honest I mean, what else? No, I know you guys aren't going it's to start walking until 3 something, but for our deadline, we've got to try and knock this out quickly. Do you mind yep. if we get you to just pretend to walk down, I don't know, 100 yards or so towards yeah. the parking lot? Yeah. He'll let you know when to go. Um, yeah. just David, we're going to take one shot with uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, okay. Kermitis, uh yes. alone with the torch after yep. they do theirs. By myself? By herself, um, yeah. Or if you want with the students. George, with the students. He wants to um, yeah. just simulate a walk uh, because of their deadline. Oh, so. okay, sure, sure, we can do so. that. Just get one picture. You know how to do the picture? Uh, Shut off the... Uh, where's your camera? It's in my pocket. Okay, use your camera. Uh, we'll do that in one second. Now, which one is it? The... Uh, that camera that wants yeah. to do that? Okay. 